All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we're gonna continue the restoration of this 79 Kenworth K100 cab over. We're gonna restore it up in the spirit of the Iron Duke from the 70s trucking movie, Highballin' with Jerry Reed. So in the last episode, you saw I got the truck home finally, and I actually started cleaning out the inside of the cab and it's in pretty rough shape because it's been sitting in a field for the last decade. So it filled full of mouse nests and a bunch of other wonderful stuff. And if you watched the last episode, you, you actually saw that one of those little critters was, was still in there. So I actually set up a trap. So hopefully we caught him and uh, any of his friends. So we'll continue cleaning out the inside of the, of the cab there. And then I wanted to get to work on deleting some of the items on here in preparation for sandblasting. So we'll get rid of the fenders and as minty as this plywood deck plate is, we'll probably delete that as well. And oh, I also wanted to get this linkage set up again. So at least we can put the truck into gear because right now it's obviously just in neutral, but we've got one of the brakes kind of half on so the truck doesn't roll anywhere. So we'll get that fixed up and get rolling on this project. Yeah, we better burn that. Okay, so at least that's out of there now. Oh, and the bleach I sprayed, I kind of let dry a little bit. So now we'll continue cleaning this up. Looks like whoever drove this before liked players. Oh, oh, look at that. We got ourselves a loony. Well, that'll go to the cause. <laughs> Someone likes sunflower seeds too. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's try and get this, this center deal out of here. I don't reckon it. Oh, cool. Kirkett Kenworth. All right, a little more cleaning that needs doing here. Oh, I wonder how the wiring is. Never actually looked. That actually doesn't look too, too bad. Mice have been in there, but it doesn't look like they've actually chewed anything. Looks like the hoses are rotten like the peat was, so we'll have to redo those. But not too bad. All right. Well, I guess we'll just keep cleaning and maybe we'll start dropping some of these side panels and get rid of the, the nests that I know are sitting behind there. Just trying to jimmy with this little latch here. I can't seem to get this door open. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, well, something can't be cleaned. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like this truck was blue at one point. I guess that's what happens with a 40 year old truck that uh, goes through a few color changes through the years.
Did I mention this is my least favorite part of restoring a truck? Okay, so I'm just gonna slowly scoop it into this bag. You don't wanna actually make it full because then that would get it all in the air. You wanna kinda keep it as undisturbed as possible. Something like that. Oh, so gross. You gotta keep it wet too. Oh. Maybe my next truck, I will pick something that's been sitting in a field for 10 years. There. All the crap's gone. Now I just need to, I'll probably hose this all out of here, I think, when I finally get this all done. Just to get the last little bit out. Oh, gross. I'm going to check out this side, see how bad it is. That's where the windshield wiper is. Where it is. Okay, that doesn't look nearly as bad. Extra belt. Still nasty. Roadside flare kit. Extinguisher. See if it still works. Oh, look at that. Oh. 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 I was just looking at the paint here on this side, and I can't figure out what would have made that. That almost looks like heat. Like if it was next to a fire or, or what. And then all the paint peeled on this side. So I don't know if something was going on in the truck park next door or what. I don't think this truck's been on fire. You think you'd see more signs of it, so it must have just been radiant heat from something else. Okay, now I'm going to try to take this uh, frame for the, the fixed door or the fixed seat out of here. The bolts, of course, were all rusty, so I had to grind them off, so that was fun. around Recky because he's soaked in liquor. Oh, come on. Uh, oh. See, you don't want to come out of here. clean this up and get this mat out of here and I don't think I'm going to punish Mrs. Twin Sticks by having to sit on a metal box so we'll get a nice low ride Boston for this side as well we'll check that out the seat belts were just bolted to this steel shell how much safety all of it Okay, what goodies do we got here? Cinnamon gum. A little lighter. A bill for something for $1,200. Oh, check that out. Now, you young fellas probably don't know what this is, but back in the day, these were hunting tags. And you used to put them around the antler. And then when you click them through, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't come back up, but I think these were also used for trailers and stuff. But I suspect this was a hunting tag. Oh, it's keys for a pickup. Oh, I wish I knew where that was. A 379XP extended hood. <laughs> Too bad that didn't come with the truck. Okay, let's get this crap out of here and bleach this side. I was just looking at this, uh, this bill here and looks like some service work was done in September of 06 so about 15 years ago 
and silver mechanical services i've never even heard of them i don't know if they're still around there's the van had about 350,000 k on it at that time and they had an oil change done adjusted the brakes had a service and then they got the brake saver redone brake savers are notorious for leaking we spent 1200 bucks on that so so that's pretty cool it was on the road back in 2006 15 years ago don't chase us up your sleep cause when you're high You stand for as a man. Well, life can bring you to your knees, boy, but that don't mean that you have to crawl. Reach back and find some back. I am not looking forward to this. It's cool because I thought the walls were all going to have this soft foam that mice just love to make nests out of, but it's got this harder styrofoam. So it's actually, the mice had no room to walk along. So this was a good idea. I wish Kenworth would have put this everywhere. But up here, I think there's going to be lots of, lots of mess. So let's find out. I thought a whole big mess was going to fall on my head. It looks like they only made a nest in that area. Okay. I got to get this liner out of here without busting it up too badly. Oh. Oh. Man, those old truckers are tough. Been in weeks and weeks in these tiny little bunks. Ugh. You gotta admire how tough they were. Against the ball, they may stack that deck against you, but you can damn so take your cuts. When it gets down to down and dirty, that's when you got to trust your guts. Cause when you're high. you stand for as a man oh, oh, oh. oh. So that wasn't that wasn't too too bad I think Project Snowman had a bigger mess on the uh, the ceiling there and those shiny aluminum panels look pretty sharp so what I did was I sprayed a good uh, a good coating of bleach and we'll let that dry up because it smells pretty strong. So we'll let that dry up and then we'll finish cleaning all the, the rest of this crap up. And then we'll get going on the final stage of the interior pole is this roof cap in the, uh, in the cab here. All right, home stretch. Let's get this, uh, this headliner out of here. Happy little tree. Let's paint several little happy trees and push. Look at there.
Why isn't that coming up? What the hell? Oh, one more screw. That would explain it. section comes down on its own. So maybe we'll get rid of that one first. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I wonder how this ledge is. Oh, it's not too bad. The Peterbilt and Kenworth, or the snowman, was just filled on that little ledge. Oh, ah! Guess he didn't make it. Oh, oh there's a couple more. Disgusting. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to be pretty hard pressed to rescue another fuel truck. It would have to be pretty, pretty darn special. I'm talking about a 359 Pete extended hood with big 3408 and sticks. Where I'm going to consider doing this again. Brutal. You know, I have to say that insulation Kenworth used to keep the cab warm is pretty weak. Look at this. Two little thin pieces. <laughs> that sure ain't doing much. Oh. Well, there's the airlines for the horns. This thing has the same big long Grover horns that I'm going to put on uh, Snowman. And these must be the the bolts for the air conditioning condenser with these backing plates to keep it from ripping out. And there's little nut certs for the lights. It's actually not too bad up here. So we'll we'll tear that stuff out of there. Hope there's no more carcasses. And tear those side panels off. Oh, check that out. Whoever drove this truck before had those little anti-glare lights similar to what I put on the Peterbilt. Never seen uh never seen that, that shape before. But you can tell that incandescent light just melted the lens. Do you have it on the other side? Uh, yeah, you did. Cool. Okay, let's get this side panel off of here and clean this mess out. <laughs>
second before I get the car wash out, I wanted to get these uh, side panels off. And then we'll hose this whole mess out. in a five gallon tail. We won't go one to one, we'll probably just dilute it down something like that. And then we'll fill up the tail and we'll give it a toss. Ugh. And we'll keep doing that until we get rid of that smell. I'm just rinsing everything out now. Just getting all the last little bits in the corner. I'm just bringing it out to the ground there. Now that everything's slippery. Could sit in here on a, on a five gallon pail and dream of one day driving it without having to worry about getting hand virus. Okay, I am glad that terrible job is done. All right, tune in next week where we're gonna pivot away from cleaning up mouse nests to doing something fun. <laughs> <laughs>